So as we know, the VMAs aired last night on the MTV channel. And it would only be right if I got some reactions from my colleagues and peers. So I'm here with Chelsea Searles. Please tell me your highlight of the VMAs last night. Um, my favorite part was Justin Timberlake. I've been a big fan of him for a long time. And when he brought in sync out, I turned my TV up and I was singing along right with him. How do you feel the VMAs impacted social media? Um, it did good for Twitter, of course, and I think Miley Cyrus had a big effect on everything. It gets people talking. I guess when you get some people stuff to talk about, social media is always going to be jumping. And it helped the ratings, right? Definitely. So, NSYNC made a comeback appearance on the VMAs. Did you like it? Was it good or was it bad? Yes, I used to love NSYNC growing up. So to hear them again, it brought back those childhood memories. Also, a trending topic on Twitter and Instagram was Danity Kane coming back. Do you think that's a yes or a no for music? Yes. What was your favorite song by Danity Kane? Heartbreak. Heartbreaker. All right. I don't think that's a song, but <laughs> there you have it. This is your boy Muncho, and I'm here with Joanna Smith. What were some highlights that you heard about? Molly Cyrus was twerking. So do you think that Molly Cyrus going to twerk? Do you think that was a good or a bad thing about Molly Cyrus publicity-wise? It was bad, bro. It was a bad look, man. So you heard it here first, from the media circuit to the college streets, the VMAs was a very controversial topic on last night. And you had it here first, this is your boy Muncho, and I'm checking out. See you on the next episode.